welcome back in this video we are going to learn about arithmetic operator so arithmetic operator that means we are going to perform some kind of arithmetic operation on the variable so arithmetic operation i can say addition subtraction multiplication division and modulus so we'll use the variable and we'll try to perform this kind of operation so let's start the code so first of all we need to declare two variable then we can perform some kind of arithmetic operation so let's declare first of all type as a int and i can see the variable name is here a and we can assign the value as 22 and you can declare another variable i can say again int b equal 5 so currently we have two variable now we have to perform addition so what you can do either you can do like int c equal to a plus b this is also fine and after that what you can do just try to print this one so for printing we have to use system.outprintln and if you just type c it will try to print the value of c so c means what 27 so if you want to understand how it is printing 27 so you can see we have given here int c equal to a plus b a means what 22 and we are performing addition operation so it will try to add this value so what will be happen it will be look like 22 plus 5 and the output will be like now 27 so the c value is holding the value as 27 or you can do one thing you can just copy this one and you can put it here so once you run you can see the value is 27 now if you want to put some masses like we are performing addition so addition we are going to use a string so whenever you want to use a string just use double quotes and you can add your masses so i can say here addition and you can put the colon space but after that you can see it is showing a red color red color means like it is wrong so you cannot do like this one you can see right syntax error so whenever you perform any kind of operation that will involve like a string and the number or float just try to use plus sign so this plus means not like it will come by it will look like this currently so now if i run you can see it will show like addition colon 27 so it is just trying to combine two variable now how we can do subtraction just use same thing sys o sys out and either you can put double quotes and you can put your message like subtraction then you can just do a minus p so now a value is 22 and if i will perform subtraction it will give me output as 17 so let's run you can see we are getting output as 17 when we perform subtraction so let's perform multiplication in same way so what you can do just use sys out and for multiplication you have to use a star sign either you can combine or you can give this space both are fine now you can run so when we perform multiplication that means 22 into 5 we got output as 110 so again you can copy this one now we can perform division when we perform division what will be happen we are going to divide 22 by 5 so we'll get output as 4 because it will just try to print the quotient value now in the modulus how you can do just you can copy this line you can come down and you can change this symbol as modulus that means percentage now if we run you will get output as 2 that means it will just print the remainder value so please understand whenever you use division it will try to print the quotient value and whenever you perform modulus it will try to print the remainder value so these are the generally arithmetic operation i hope you got some idea 